On the Cape here, we're blessed with uh, some beautiful scenery, but some very unpredictable weather. Wow, it's a sand spit in the ocean, so our weather is quick and, and hard. It changes very fast, and it comes in very fast and goes out very fast. It wasn't a, a real, let's say, a, a top 10 thunderstorm. But where we were, it was like a cell. We were at a YMCA charity golf tournament, played a couple of holes, and the horn went off, was putting the flag in the hole, and turned around, and I was falling to the ground, smoke coming from my body. I don't remember any of it. The lightning was the loudest bang I had ever heard. We saw Mike fall, hit the ground. He was blackened along his legs. His shoes were blown off. His belt was blown off. I mean, it's hard for me to visualize it. Lightning did kill me that day. The only reason I'm here is because Dick Gill and Billy Todd knew CPR and were on me right away. Older fellow playing with us, Dick had taken a course in mouth-to-mouth uh, -mouth resuscitation. So he started that fairly quickly, cleared his throat, and I did CPR, chest compressions. Even though we thought he might be dead, we just kept going until the paramedics came. And I think that saved his life. My memory, I lost pretty much from the week before to 38 days afterwards. My first memory after I was struck was waking up and looking around, trying to figure out where I was and having the EMT tell me that I had been struck by lightning and I was on my way to rehab. After I saw Michael the first time, the awe of that really set in. To see a man who was very muscular, very active, uh, very alive, be basically uh, confined within his own body. Good, that's good. Kisses. OK. Say, I miss you. Getting the rehab was an interesting thing. You just lay there, and you look at the clock, and you look at the seconds tick by, and they tick and tick and tick. And interesting thoughts through your mind when you're immobile just laying there. I had to relearn how to do everything from swallow to walk to bathe myself. I couldn't do anything. And the doctors told everybody that it would probably leave in, in six months to a, a year in a wheelchair and, and it was doubtful that much good was going to come from it from then. I walked out of there three and a half months later. The best thing to do as far as taking care of the results of an accident is stop the accident. So we figured education is the key. If we can stop people from getting struck, we don't have to take care of them. They don't have to go through what I went through. It's amazing how at the end of doing his presentation, how many people uh, come up to him and just have so many questions pertaining to lightning. What we do know about lightning through Michael is, is, is educational and, I think, life-saving. I'm never going to get the 48-year-old soccer coach who sees lightning off in the distance and says, it's too far away, it's not going to get us. I'm never going to get him to change. But if I can get his 8-year-old daughter to go out in the field and tug on his shirt and say, hey, Daddy, it's not safe, then we've accomplished something. Good hip turn, that wrist back. My game today, well, I've been kind of lucky. I've gotten to relearn my game, and I've relearned it playing with the seniors, and I relearned it when I was really weak and didn't have much balance. So combination, if I swung hard back then, I'd fall down. 
So I swing nice and easy like a senior, and I play old man's golf. I'm down in the middle of the fairway. I don't hit it far, but I don't lose any balls. That's the key. We want that impact zone. We want that snap to come right down on top of the ball from where he came from a couple years ago. Now he can even walk nine holes pretty easily. He's gone from shooting in the hundreds to the 90s, and you know, before long, he's going to be consistently in the 80s, which is just incredible. I keep different kinds of scores. I keep the score in the scorecard, but so far this year, I've played and don't have grass stains on my knees. I couldn't do that last year. I fell down when I played. Um, this year, I'm starting to hit the ball a little bit further, and it makes the sound that it's supposed to make the sound that it comes off a golf club. That was nice. Right now, I don't know what I'd do without golf because it's one of the few things that, that I can do that I'm getting better at that is not only therapy, but it is fun. Michael Utley enjoys a round of golf probably as good as anybody who comes to a golf course. And he is living testament to how good the game can be back to you. In many respects, you can look at the negative very easily. They say that the older you get, the wiser you are. I got older very quickly. So, you know, maybe, maybe that helped, maybe it hurt, I don't know. I know that I'm 59 years old getting better every day and that's pretty neat.